All right, guys, now we're going to go over the next problem of Code Forces 645 Division 2. B, Maria breaks the self-isolation. So Maria, Maria is an active old lady, and she's tired of sitting at home, so she decides to have a ceremony against the coronavirus. She has N friends who are also grannies. The i granny is ready to attend the ceremony provided at the time of their appearance. Um, assuming that there is at least A of I of other grannies there, note that grannies can come into the yard at the same time. Formerly, the granny I agrees to come over if the other grannies who came in earlier or same, uh, who came earlier or at the same time with her is greater than or equal to A of I. So this means that it all uh, the so the I granny, so like the first or second granny, will only come at the same time with her if it's greater than or equal to A of I, right? If it's greater than or equal to whatever value it is. Um, so Maria is the only one at the courtyard first, then all the end grannies are still sitting at home. At each step, Maria selects a subset of grannies, none of which have yet to enter the courtyard. So she's going to choose some grannies out of the, the array. Um, she promises each of them at the time of her appearance that there's at least A of I of other grannies, including Maria. So there has to be at least th that number of grannies, uh, including her in the courtyard. So she can call several grannies at once. In this case, the selected grannies will go out in the courtyard at the same amount of time. She cannot deceive grannies. Okay, so that means that uh, if anything strictly less than it is prohibited, right? Anything less than A of I, other grannies is prohibited. Please note that if several grannies appear in the yard at the same time, then each of them sees each other at the end of the appearance. Okay. So how this works is that in this example, we have N equals six, which is the number of elements in our array. And we have A. Okay, and then at the first step, she can take numbers one to five, one and one and five. So that's going to be this array, this element at one, and this element at five. Well, one, two, three, four, five. This this element at five. Yeah. So that that one. So she picks b both of the ones, right? Uh, the numbers one and five are the indexes. So they're assuming they're indexing from one. But yeah. So note that a a one. I is uh, a one is less than or equal to two and a five is one is less than or equal to two. Okay. So basically they're saying that because the numbers at the indexes one and five, the, uh, the number, the numbers at the index of one and five are less than or equal to two. That's why they picked it, right? Because they're, they're going to pick two people. And then because the indexes are less than or equal to two, they picked those two at the second step, they could pick indexes two, three, and four. And that's five, four, and uh, wait, yeah, five, four, and five, yeah. So they pick five, four, and five, and the reason why is because uh, if because they're picking five grannies at the moment going out, they're all these numbers are less than or equal to five. So that's the reason why they picked it. And then the sixth granny can't be called because um, the the last one is uh, nine, and it's not less than or equal to six. Okay. So um, this is actually not a hard problem. Basically, you're just going to have to try to get every single. Okay, so in this problem, you're going to ha... you're trying to pick the the ones where it's less than or equal to whatever uh, number of granny you're picking at. Right. So like if I'm going to pick five grannies, I have to get all all the ones that are less than or equal to five. Right. And which is these. Right. And if I'm going to pick like six, I have to get all the ones less than or equal to six. Right. So that's basically it. You have to create a counter and then keep keep track of the whichever granny at the current location. OK, uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys on pen and paper what I mean. OK, so in the first example, we have n equals six and then these are the numbers. Right. And basically we're picking at first we're going to pick two because we're including Maria. So then we're going to pick two numbers that are less than or equal to two. So that's one and one. So that's why they pick those first. And then after that, so like we pick two, right? Pick two. And because these one and one index one and one are both less than or equal to two, we pick those two, All right? So we're going to pick one uh, at one. Let's, or let's assume we're indexing from one, right? We'll pick indexes one and five. And then um, what you could do is you have like a counter that counts the ones that you want to pick first. So then after that, you want to pick like, Let's say you pick three, but then if you pick three, uh, that'll be like three of them. And if you pick four, you need to pick um, 
whichever numbers are less than four, so that would be one, four, and one. And if you pick five, whichever number is less than five, this would be one, five, four, five, one. So if I pick um, five, the numbers are less than five are gonna be at index one, two, three, four, and then five, right? And that's the, the numbers are one, five, four, five, one. So I could, as you can see here, I need to find the one, the values that are less than or equal to whatever counting I'm counting, right? So I'm picking two and then I pick a three and just find the ones, pick four and then pick five, right? So the easiest way to do this is actually to sort the, sort the numbers first, because if you sort the numbers first, you could easily find out which one is less than or equal or which one is greater than or equal to the numbers that you're picking out of. So in this case, if I'm, if I sort this, I would have one, one, four, five, five, nine, right? And then in here, I could just easily pick out the ones that are uh, the maximum index that is pretty much uh, less than or equal to whatever number it is. So in this case, if I'm picking one, two, three, four, five, the maximum index would be five, right? This one, one, two, three, four, five, and I would just pick five, right? So basically the algorithm is works is, is that you're just sorting the numbers and then you gotta check if, um, if whatever value I'm at, like if whatever value that this is, right, is less than or equal to my current index that I'm going through. So if I'm going through one, two, three, four, five, six, right, uh, whatever, whichever index, then I'm going to get the maximum, right? I'll get the maximum of that, right? So and then at that, at the end of this, pretty much I would have the maximum index that's less than or equal to whichever my current value is. So for that, all you just have to do is sort it and then loop through it and then check every single value here and then check if it's less than or equal to my index that I'm searching at, right? Remember picking whatever. And then if it is, I'm going to update my max counter, like my max number, max number, like a uh, number that you're picking what out of. And yeah, you just get the maximum index that it is. So the maximum index, which would be five and then you just return it. So that's that's how you do this problem. Uh, I'll show you the code now. All right guys, so this is the code. Um, I'm gonna read the number of test cases. I'm gonna read the size of the array. I'm gonna create my array. Uh, I'm gonna read in all the values of the array. I'm gonna sort the array, and then I'm going to loop through from i is one up to the number of elements. And this is gonna, i is basically, basically just keeping track of the numbers I'm picking out of, out of the array, right? I'm gonna pick the ones out of the array. Out of the array. And if uh, whichever element that's in the array, like this is D of I minus one, this is whichever element in the array is less than or equal to my index that, that I'm picking out of, the number of elements I'm picking out of the array, then I just update my counter of the, the index I, that, the maximum index I that I'm picking out of, the maximum numbers I'm picking out of the array. So this in, uh, integer last is just the, the last, the largest index I'm picking out of the array, right? The largest number of numbers I'm picking out of the array, and I just update that. Uh, at the end, you also have to include Maria, because remember Maria is in the first one, right? So you have to add one to include Maria. So that's the last part of this C out. So yeah, that's all you have to do for this question. Um, I hope I explained it correctly to you guys. Pretty much you have to check the numbers that you're picking out of the array and making sure they're less than or equal to your, the, um, and making sure it's the, the, the elements of that is less than or equal to the numbers you're picking out of the array. If it is, then we're gonna update the max counter to make sure that it's the maximum number, the maximum index, the maximum number of elements we're picking out of the array. So yeah, that's what I did here. here. But yeah, that's all you have to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll try to do the next problem. I couldn't finish the, the next problem in the contest, but I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna upsolve it now, so yeah. I'll check you guys later.